In an age of face morphing filters and online personas, it can be really hard to stay grounded with what's real, especially in terms of self image. Power Woman Claire Brown is joining us this afternoon to talk about body positivity versus body neutrality. Hey, Claire, how are you? Great, Laura. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, too. It's still weird <laughs> saying that. A lot of people have heard of body shaming, body positivity, but I have to admit I've never heard of body neutrality. What is that? Well, body neutrality is a big movement that's starting, and it states that we're really just to be grateful for what our body can do for us mm -hmm. and not focus on what it can't which is what we tend to do. We tend to focus on what we don't have with our bodies and what we do want our bodies to do, but instead body neutrality is for us to focus on what our bodies have done for us, what they can do for us, and that we're not expected to love them every day, but instead be grateful for what they are doing for us every day. And that can be hard any time of the year. We talked about social media, very, very difficult, but especially this time, we're celebrating a new year. A lot of people are talking about dieting, exercising, focusing on that. So how can we kind of reframe in order to maintain our health and, and love our bodies just the way they are? Well, I think the key word you said there is health. And many times it's that's where we get it mixed up and we forget about that body neutrality piece with health and so i think how it works best for you you're going to have to discover but then to maintain that focus and that intention whether it's a health journal where you don't record your your weight loss or your pounds or anything of that nature but maybe you record every day of how you feel and what were you able to do different today so maintain that body neutrality mindset of today I was able to do this, today I walked an extra mile, today I, this week I was able to lift this many more pounds. You know, what are you able to do and how are you grateful for that? And then maintaining that journal, then to be able to reflect on how far you've come. I was about to say, writing it down always helps, you know. It, it, you could say it to yourself in your mind, but actually putting pen to paper and writing it down, maybe even posting it to your mirror is a good reminder, too. Or we're talking, yeah. you know, online, it can be very difficult. People body shame and say some ugly things, and we do it to ourselves. It doesn't even have to be other people. So any advice of how to embrace that body neutrality before we go? So recently I went and did a yoga class a few weeks back, and... And the next day I had a lot of muscle soreness and I had a friend of mine when I complained about it, she said, oh, that's wonderful. The old you is dying to create space for the new you. And I loved that. And I thought, well, you know, that's very true. If we're supposed to always be in growth, especially growth physically, then the old part of us has to die. And so maintaining that pain and pleasure, and we need that. And so hopefully we will seek the pain to have our old selves die to create space for the new self that we're creating. And then I'd also say get rid of your scales and truly focus on how are you feeling? How are things fitting? Mm -hmm. What are you able to do different that you haven't been able to do? Can you walk more? Can you lift more? Can you bend over to tie your shoes and you used to not be able to? Truly be present where you are because so many women I've heard say, I really wish I had the body I had back when. And I'm fairly certain we're all going to feel the same way when we're in our 80s and 90s. Yep, yep. And I love that advice, Claire. Get rid of the scale. Get rid of it. Focus on how you feel right now. We appreciate you so much, your advice. Happy New Year to you. And remember, you can follow Claire on Twitter at Claire Power Mom and check out the website and podcast at thepowerwomen.com. Thank you so much for joining us, Claire.